Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Com, and this is another Squarespace rapid fire critique where I take your website and give it a critique, whether it's a Squarespace or any other type of website, it doesn't matter. But if you don't already have a website, go ahead and check out squarespace.com slash fro because it is an easy to use solution and affordable to create your very own portfolio. That's how I built jaredpoland.com. Go ahead and check it out and let's get into the critique. So here we have Abigail Buckler Photography specializing in music travel and more. So this is a Squarespace website this time and it is using the Wells template. It's a template that I used in the past. Now Squarespace offers a front page uh, cover page option and I like that better than what I see right here. I don't like the split personality that's going on here where we've got that on the left and this on the right. I'm not a fan of that, but it's easy to understand that, hey, I want to get into the website, so let's get in to the website. First things first, it's taking us to a concert photo when we hit enter, correct? It's taking us to music. So you have to make the conscious decision to tell people where you want them to go on your website but more importantly, when you direct them, the, when you hit enter, you're telling them what type of photography that you do. So if you are a music photographer and that is what you specialize in, then taking them to the music page is a good idea. But if you also shoot weddings and portraits and you're looking for that, you're gonna get more money, you're gonna make more money getting people to buy, your port uh, to buy portrait sessions and things along those lines than you are going to be from music. That is just one of the realities here. So you have to keep that in mind. So I love the, I love the tree logo. I love the logo, I love the colors in it. It doesn't yell concert photography to me, but it's good. I love that. So I'm gonna hit cover page again, cause right, that's the cover page which really I didn't see any music photos on it. So let's just go back in. Galleries, so the Wells is a very clean and simple template to use. Lines you up on the left hand side, shows you everything that you have on the site. And the good thing about the Squarespace sites is that they're responsive. So no matter how you move it, or if you look at it on mobile, it's going to work just as well. Uh, there. If I'm gonna critique this shot, not really a good shot. One, because it's shot up their nostrils and it's a mic in mouth syndrome. Try not to get the mic in the mouth when you're shooting. So let's go through the next images. We've got the options to do that. Do we have the option to hit up? Yeah. If we hit up, it takes us to a gallery like this. Oh snap, too many photos. Too many photos right off the rip. I like to see in a portfolio your best 15. Not all of these, this is, this is too many. Definitely way too many. Pick your best of the best of the best, 12, 15, no more than 20 images, and put them in there. Because if somebody wants to say, hey, do you have more concert photos? You want to be able to show them more when, when they ask for it. So interesting how you have animals and wildlife above music, but you don't take people right there when you go in. So this is an emu. Let's see how many, fo ooh. Now that is nice and contrasty. That's awesome. Love the contrast there. Hello. Ah, oh, it's not sharp. I don't think it's sharp in the face. Probably because shooting through glass, because you wouldn't want to get close to that, but that's much better. Hello, Sphinxy. So let's scroll down and see how many we have here. All right, there's, ooh, that's nice. It's a nice butterfly shot, except it's cropped. I'm not saying that it's bad. You know me with cropping. So this is all right. There's a couple in here, you know, it's interesting how you've got wildlife, but then there's some tame life like the cats and the dog and a jackass. And I just wanted to say jackass. This shot, I'd yank out of there so fast. The reason I'd yank this shot out of there so fast is it's just a snapshot with a flash popped up and you have much better work than this, Abigail. This is a shot that it just screams, I pulled out my camera, popped off the flash and took it and it's just a snapshot. Your other shot, like this is great. This is great. These are fine. Much better than that shot. That shot's got to come out. This duck shot, same thing. I guess it's a, you know, geese and all that. It's not, it's not as powerful as some, but this is good. See, there's a big difference between a snapshot and a photograph. I say that all the time. This is a photograph. This is a photograph. That's a photograph. This right here is a snapshot. If you say snapshot, throw it out. All right, I'd edit this down still more. Let's go into travel so we can see all the travel images. Still a couple too many. 
but they look good from quickly glancing over it. Street photography, all right. Why is this in there? This isn't street photography. Are they out on the street? That was interesting. Why did that show up? It did, it's at the bottom, so maybe they're on the street. But it's hard to tell that it's on the street. My favorites, really. Your favorites. But why, why are these your favorites? See, this is, I'm confused. I did read that, right? Let me read it. So these are your favorites, but they don't contain anything else from, from your other portfolios. So are the other, see, when I see this, I go, wait a second. What are the ones that I was looking at before? Are they not your favorites? Do you think they're not good enough? I think your favorites is, that's a portfolio. You know, that's a section of your website that you put your best of the best of the best. If you think this is it, then I don't know what the other stuff is. If these, aren't your, if these are your favorites, what are the other ones? So keep that in mind when you're putting the site together. We've got uh, about down here. All right, so we've got the about, an avid photographer who enjoys shooting a variety of things, but my primary focus is travel, music, and nature. Pri too many ands. So my primary focus is travel, music, nature, and wildlife. Got to get rid of the end. Now, don't call me a grammar police because I make so many mistakes myself. I can only point out what I see, and I miss it in my own very often. Uh, my goal in my projects, including music, events, and Animal photography is to capture the candid moment to tell the story. All right, fine. Uh, I'm self-taught photographer that through their webs. I am a self-taught photographer that through their website and social media, I share my experiences. That needs to be rewritten. Uh, this allows me. Okay, that needs to be rewritten. Uh, let's look at blog. August seventh, which is good. This is August eighth, which means it's up to date. Hopefully, there, there's an August 3rd, there's a July 16th. Try to do it once a week, at least once a week, because here's May, but nothing after May until July. So if you're going to have a blog, you want to keep it up to date. At least once a week, put something out there. Pricing, I don't know why we would have pricing. This should just be a contact page. This is your contact page, not pricing page. So what's on the contact page? The contact page. What's different? What's different? There's a photo on one and a photo on So maybe this is just a mistake, but Abigail, just get rid of the get rid of pricing and leave contact. So I think this is good. I don't mind it. I think the site is laid out very well using the Wells template of Squarespace. Uh, I think there's some really solid images in there. It just you need to tell people where to go. I think your animal images and your travel images are stronger than the music images. The, the hard and honest truth is that music photography, you're not going to make a lot of money at that if that's what your goal is. Of course, people like shooting music, and it doesn't always have to be about money. But if you're looking to get jobs, obviously, with something that says pricing, you're looking to get hired. I would put the best images forward. I think the music photos need to drop. I think they need to go through, like I said, and pick your best of the best. Uh, but showcase the nature. Showcase the, uh, the, the travel. They're great shots. And also, the site could just be for you to share your images. Don't forget that. I don't know that because I don't interview the person shooting. So don't, you know, I can only look at what I see and give my opinion. I look at it as people have websites for multiple purposes, to showcase your work and to share your work and possibly get paid to do work. So I look at it in both angles. If it's to make money, I just gave my opinion. If it's just to share your work, then do whatever you want because that makes you happy. But take some of the things that I've said and try to work that into your site to make it even better because I think you have some really fantastic images and I think you've done a very nice job. So that is another Squarespace rapid fire critique. If you are looking for your own website, check out jaredpoland.com because that I built on Squarespace myself. The first iteration of that website, I finished it in 30 minutes. It's an easy turnkey solution and affordable and powerful for you to create your very own website. Go check it out. If you want to sign up for a 14-day free trial, go to squarespace.com slash fro. Get your 14-day free trial, and at the end of it, if you decide you want to sign up, please use the code fro to get 10% off your very first order. It helps me out. It saves you some money. And that's it. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.